holy crap, I've got worms. Most people are upset when they get worms. Not me. I actually ordered worms from a company on Amazon. WWJD Worms, I believe it's called. And uh, uh, I think it's, I don't remember how many worms it is right now without looking at the box. I think it was 250 worms. And it came with this nice, awesome long letter explaining what they do to get the worms ready to ship. Because it takes, of course, in the mail, two to, two to four days to get to their destination. I think it's pretty amazing that you can pop them in a bag, in a box, and they make it. I haven't opened it yet. I mean, I've opened the box, but I haven't opened the bag yet. Uh, I wanted to get them right out here and into the beds that I'm going to put them in. And it gives you directions on the paper. It's very well written. Like somebody really cares about their job and what they do and cares about the worms. Because they're very important to have. So I'm just wetting the beds down because he said, he or she, said that's the best thing to do. They kind of dry them out a little bit before they send them. So they said to make sure wherever you're putting them that it's wet. So I'm just watering down some beds. Okay. So here is my bag of worms. They're in a little bit of peat moss. Came in a nice cloth bag. There we go. Wasn't too hard. All nice and nestled in a box with paper. So this is the bag. So they said a lot of times people think because worms live in the dirt that they want to dig a hole and dump the bag and covering cover them over but it's actually natural for them to want to get away from the light so if you put them on top they will themselves find their way down into the dirt oh i can see some right on top as we speak that's good and i'm just going to um oh and they're moving around really nicely See if I can show you. Uh, none in that one. Oh, there was one. There's a skinny one there. They said they'll be a little skinny at first, but they'll plump up. So there's one, but I saw a great big one. There's some biggies in here. They're pretty, pretty little right now. But that's okay. If I can find the big chunky one that I saw. Probably going down to the bottom. Here's some. Oh wow, these are nice and lively too. These are good. So I'm just going to sprinkle a few in here. Oh, there we go. There's a couple of big fat ones. See that? And they're nice and lively. They're really good. Let me show you. See if you can see them all wiggling around in there. Is that nice big one? They're really lively. Look at them. You can really see them going. This one, it's another nice fat one. So awesome. Can you see this great big guy right here? Look, that's a fishing worm right there. Look at it. Don't worry, you're not going to go fishing. Nope, you'll be all right. Right there. See them all right here. They're very lively. Look at them. Just look at them. That is so awesome. The whole bed is just crawling with worms. That's great. All right, I want to put some in this new one over here too. I can. 
this is a, like a little clump of them. A whole clump. And they said um, to just kind of gently break them up a little bit so that they don't get all tangled up in each other. And these guys are really tangled too. Ooh, here we go, guys. There, make sure they're all out of the bag. I don't want to have anybody left in there. Oh, it says 150, so it wasn't 250, it was 150. I didn't bother counting. Well, that's quite a few worms. That's pretty awesome. Pretty exciting. Um, the reviews were really good on on this company, so um, I did. I decided to go with them, but this is great. The whole bed, they're just spreading all out, which is awesome. That's what I want them to do. Find some food. I sometimes will sprinkle cornmeal in. I've been told that you're supposed to do that. I did not say anything about doing that in um, with these. It just said just put them wet the ground and put them on top and they'll find their way. This is great for compost too, which I'm just hoping that they will, you know, work their way into these beds and work into the compost here in the beds. Eventually I may get some for my compost in the woods, but look at that long one. <laughs> it's just creepy crawling with all the worms. Hopefully they like their new home. So why earthworms, you're asking? Why would you put those in your garden? Well, they're great for the soil. They add nutrients and wonderful benefits, and they, con they control the drainage because they're going in and out of the dirt so much and leaving their castings, and it helps to put nutrients into the dirt and to help with drainage in your beds or in your garden in general. The worms feed on plant debris, roots, leaves, grasses, and manure that are in your dirt, and they leave behind the castings that add really good nutrients for your plants. So basically, it's free help in the garden, working in there when you're not there, and helping your plants, feed your plants, and keeping them happy. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.